In my effort to consolidate my dividend portfolio, today I'm gonna to look at the consumer staples sector and I'm gonna go from eight positions down to three. I'm gonna sell five positions today and consolidate all that money into one position, but I'm gonna keep three of the eight that I have now. Make sure you watch to the end so you know which ones I'm selling, which ones I keep, and the one stock that I'm buying in the month of May. Welcome to the channel. My name is Paris Clough and this is Financial Self-Reliance. I absolutely love helping people manage, protect, and grow their money. And in this video, we're gonna talk about dividend stocks and growing our wealth. When I first got started in the dividend investing, I went crazy. I got a little bit too excited. I started buying stocks that had the biggest yield and I wanted to really go for it because I wanted to have that big yield. But what I realized was that some of these companies weren't that stable and some of these large yields weren't actually sustainable. And some of these companies actually either stopped their yields or cut them. And some of these companies actually aren't around anymore. So one of the things that I learned is that when you're gonna get into dividend investing or any kind of investing in the stock market, you wanna make sure that you're buying solid companies that are gonna be around for the long term, especially in dividend investing because you're looking for that income. And the income stream from your dividends is critical. You don't wanna have a certain amount of money that you're depending upon and then that company goes under because you wanted to go for yield and the company wasn't that solid and you end up having significant amounts of your income decreased or you don't have that anymore. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my portfolio. I keep my portfolio on Webull. Webull is a free platform for stock investing. I highly recommend that if you haven't got a platform that you're using already, that you click the link in the description below. If you open an account and invest $100 with Webull, they'll give you several free stocks. It's a fantastic way for you to begin your journey in the stock market by putting some money in and getting a bunch of free stocks. I mean, who wouldn't want free stocks? So click the link in the description below to join Webull. Now let's take a look at my Webull portfolio. So this is the spreadsheet that I use to track my portfolio of investments. And in this particular spreadsheet, I've narrowed it down to the consumer staples sector. So you can see over here off to the right, it says the sector consumer staples. So these are all the positions that I had. I had eight positions and these are the two that were kind of on my watch list that I hadn't purchased yet. So I had BGS, FLO, KO, KMB, UVV, KHC, MO, and NHTC. And we're going to talk about each one of those and why I sold them or kept them because I kept three positions and one of them I took all the money from what I sold and I put it all in on that one stock and that's the stock I'm going to share with you at the end. So what I want to share with you now is my dividend portfolio on the dividend tracker. There's a link in the description below for this. This is a fantastic tool. It gives you everything that you need to know about a dividend or a stock to do research, to do planning, to do uh, it gives you uh, watch lists, payout calendars, diversification, calculators, and there's a community on a discord channel that you can be a part of. The community, this is the paid for version. I paid to have this version. There's a free version that you can use to kind of, you know, tinker around with it and make sure that it's something that you like and then upgrade to the paid version later. But I highly recommend you have something like this that you use to track your dividends because if you don't know what's going on with your dividends, it's going to be really hard to um, do research from multiple websites. This particular website collaborates everything into one place so that it's easy for me to do the research I need to do. So let's take a look here. This is also my Seeking Alpha account. I have, again, my Webull uh, label here for my portfolio on Webull. This is all the stocks that I have in my dividend portfolio. Right now, I have 65 positions. I'm down from 70 because I sold five, as I shared with you, and I want to get that down to 40 or 35 to 40, some, somewhere in there. So 40, give or take, I should say. And um, in doing that, over the next several weeks or months, I'm going to share with you every time I I sell a position or buy a position and which ones I'm selling and which ones I'm buying so that you kind of have an idea of my process and hopefully that will help you in your process. I don't think you should take what I'm doing and absolutely duplicate it and copy it and say, well, Paris did it, so I should do it. Don't do that. Take what I do as a way for you to kind of see how to evaluate the positions and then use that as part of your new strategy and what you personally are going to do to develop a strategy. Take what I'm saying. Take what other people are saying. There's a lot of other great YouTubers that are talking about dividend investing. Take a look at all of us. Find out what you like best about us and then develop your own strategy. That's what I recommend. So in this particular portfolio, we're gonna dive into each one. All right, so taking a look back at my spreadsheet, the first one here is B&G Foods, Inc., ticker symbol BGS. So let's take a look at that. On the dividend tracker, over here, it gives you a dividend grade. The higher the grade, the better the dividend. It takes a golf score, takes a look at all kinds of things to make sure that you're getting a good solid company with a good sustainable dividend. And this one is 31 out of 100, so it's not that great, but it's, got a, it's a great company. It's got a great dividend yield. You can see here, 7.39%. Let's take a look and see what Seeking Out Office says about B&G Foods. They say that um, it's a hold on the quant rating, the Wall Street rating is a hold, and SA authors say it's a buy. You know, between you and I, uh, this is one of the ones actually that I got 
uh, that I sold. This is one of the ones that I sold off. They have a 7% um, dividend yield, which is fantastic. Their payout ratio is a little high. It's kind of scary to have it uh, pay out 100%, more than 100%, because that means they're paying more than what they're earning or bringing in. Uh, Five-year growth rate is 1.43. So unfortunately, BGS is now moving from my positions to my watch list. I do like the company. I think that they've got some great things going for them. So I may add them later at some point, but for now, BGS is uh, one that I sold. All right, let's take a next look at the next one, which is FLO, Flower Foods, ticker symbol FLO. They have a much better dividend grade, as you can see, uh, 60 out of 100. And they're a 3.22% uh, dividend yield, which is a great yield. Let's take a look and see what Seeking Alpha has to say about about flower foods. Um, everybody over here on the rating summary here, the analysts are saying it's a hold. So flower foods, great company, doing great things. However, I don't wanna keep them for now. I wanted to consolidate into a much better one that I think is gonna be much better for me. So I sold my FLO in order to purchase and buy into and go, go further into one particular stock, which I'll share with you at the end. The next one on the list was ticker symbol KO or Coca-Cola. Now this one's a staple. These guys have been around for a long time. As you can see, the dividend grade is 73 out of 100, which is fantastic. It's one of those companies that you know are gonna continue to pay a dividend yield for years to come. In fact, if I, if I remember correctly, and let's take a look over here at Seeking Alpha real quick. Dividends, they've been paying a dividend for 59 plus years, which makes them definitely a dividend king. And they're just one of those companies that's gonna be fantastic to stay and, and have your money in. The uh, analysts are saying um, Quant is a hold, Wall Street is a buy, uh, the SA authors is a hold, but it's still got a high uh, rating. It's right beneath the buy rating for the Quant ratings. I'm actually gonna be honest, I kept KO. I kept KO. KO was one of the three that I kept, but it wasn't the one that I doubled down on. It's not the one that I bought more of for the month of May. So. Anyways, uh, KO is still in my portfolio. It's still a fantastic position. I really want. I really like that. Uh, what their dividends are. They have a great uh, dividend uh, yield. Is 2.79. Payout ratio is 70%, which is good. Uh, Five-year growth rate's decent, um, but this really here, uh, the dividend growth, 59 years of dividend growth is uh, is really that sustainability. That proves that they're doing what, the right things. All right, next one is KMB or Kimberly Clark. Kimberly Clark has a 67 out of 100 on the dividend grade, which is very good. Uh, not as good as Coca-Cola, but very very high still. It's still in the kind of the greenish area, so it's definitely a great company. This particular stock over here on Seeking Alpha uh, shows them with a 3.38 dividend yield, 79% payout ratio, which is great. Five-year growth rate is decent, 4%. Dividend growth, 49 years. Another solid company. They, unfortunately, uh, I sold K my KMB to double down on another company, but KMB is on my watch list, and as I grow my portfolio and as I add more positions back, KMB is definitely gonna be on my list of companies to add back to my portfolio. So KMB is one of the ones I sold. All right, let's take a look at the next one. UVV or Universal Corp. And this is a 67 dividend grade, 5.48 uh, yield, which is a fantastic yield. Let's go over here to Seeking Alpha and see what they have to say. Dividends here, click that. 5.4% yield. Payout ratio is not here for some reason. Five-year growth rate is decent for 8%. Actually, it's pretty darn good. And then a dividend growth of 50 years. So another really good company, UVV, uh, for dividend growth. For some reason, the quant ratings here says it's not covered, which means that uh, they haven't been tracking it. I don't know why. It's been around for 50 years, so they should have been tracking it. Who knows? Anyways, uh, definitely a great company. However, however, it's one that I sold. I sold my position with UVV and uh, took the money and put it into another stock that I will tell you at the end. All right, let's take a look here. This next one, Kraft Heinz Co. K, ticker symbol KHC. Um, this one has a 40 out of 100. I actually got a bunch of um, free KHC when I started my, or when I do the referral thing for the Weebles. So I kind of uh, decided that I'd keep KHC because of that. My average cost right now, based on how much it is, the, the price today, I've had a, quite a bit of a gain. So I'm gonna keep it for now. So I kind of, you know, gave you the, gave that away for, uh, at, here at the beginning. So I'll share with you what Seeking Alpha has to say. Seeking Alpha says that it's a 3.78 yield, which is a great yield. 56, 57% payout ratio. Five-year growth rate's not that great, but I actually have pretty good gain on mine uh, since I've Got it. I got quite a few of them for free. So when they give it to you for free, you're going to have a better gain than if you have to pay for it yourself. But these guys have a pretty decent uh, track record. Kraft Heinz company. Anybody you eat uh, ketchup or mustard or anything like that, you're going to be using the Kraft company. I don't know that 
in America anyways, uh, with hot dogs and hamburgers still on the on the menu, we're not gonna get rid of uh, Kraft Heinz uh, anytime soon. So let's take a look at Altria Group. Altria Group is ticker symbol MO, and they're in the tobacco industry. Their dividend grade is 58 out of 100, which is still kind of in that yellowish, greenish area. It's, it's good. They have a fantastic dividend yield, as you can see, 6.5%. Let's take a look over here with um, Seeking Alpha, see what they have to say. Seeking Alpha says that they have a, again, 6.49% dividend yield, payout ratio 76, almost 77%, years of growth, eight and a quarter, which is really good, and 14 years of dividend growth. Altria Group uh, is, again, I think it's a solid, uh, company, great uh, company to move forward with. Uh, SA authors say it's a buy. Wall Street says it's a buy. Quant says it's a hold, but it's really, it's a 3.44 and anything over 3.5 is a buy. So the quant rating is, it's right there at a buy. And so I think that um, MO is a great company to have uh, your money in. Next, uh, last one here, Natural Health Trends Corp, ticker symbol NH. TC. This was a 41 out of 100 and 11% um, yield on this one. Uh, let's see what uh, Seeking Alpha has to say about it. And Seeking Alpha says uh, there's a payout ratio is blank again, uh, almost 11.5% yield, which is fantastic. 18% five year growth rate, but no dividend growth. It hasn't had any dividend growth, which is um, kind of concerning when you're looking at your dividends. But NHTC. I feel like it's a great company. I actually moved NHTC to my watch list because I sold the position and I'm gonna move it to the watch list and it's one that I might buy into later as time goes on. So have you guessed which one that I took all my money from all the sales of all the positions and bought into? It's the only one that I haven't told you what I did with. Put in the comments below if you know which one it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share with you my dividends for the month of April. And I did a, it was the second highest month of dividends that I've ever had in my dividend uh, investing career. And so I'm gonna share that with you right now. So what I wanna show you now is a my dividend payout calendar. This is the chart that shows the dividend payouts. As you can see, September of last year was the best uh, dividend month I've ever had. And that was just under $150 for that month. In the month of um, April, so this last month, my second highest month in dividends, I got paid $129.61. So let's take a look at that over here and we'll see each one. So I got paid by 33 different companies in the month of April. I'll add a total right here of $129.61 for the month of April, 2022. So second highest month I've ever had in my dividend portfolio and these are the companies that uh, that paid me I won't go through each one of them but it was a good month and I'm excited about that my goal is to have a hundred dollars a month as my average in this portfolio and then once I hit that goal I'm gonna shoot for 400 a month so my goal is uh, incrementally to get to 100 a month and I'm right there I'm super close um, I think if you look at my whole overall portfolio, I'm right at 100 and I'm at 1,043 according to this uh, other spreadsheet that I have that I'm using. It's uh, 1,043 a month, so I'm super close. According to this, it says I'm 87% to my goal. So I'm super excited to be 87% to the goal of $100 a month in my dividend portfolio with Weeble. Make sure that you click the link in the description below, open an account with Weeble, and then make sure that you check out the dividend tracker as well, because that's a fantastic way to keep track of your dividends. You'll get all the dividend grades, you'll get all the scores for everything, and you'll be able to do a lot of great research and it keeps track of your portfolio as a whole and then each one of the positions you have in your portfolio. All right, if you guessed MO, ticker symbol MO, as the one that I doubled down on for the month of May, then you're right, I did. I took uh, all the money that I earned or got back from the sale of all the other positions, those five positions, and I doubled down and I bought myself 20 shares of MO. And so now I'm at 30 shares of MO uh, total, and it's gonna be $27 a quarter. So that's a really nice dividend every quarter. And so I'm looking forward to seeing and growing with MO, and then I'm gonna get that to 100 shares. The goal is to get MO to 100 shares, and then at 100 shares, I can actually do covered calls and do options and earn even more money. So stay tuned for videos about how to do covered calls with your 100 shares of your dividend stocks. If you missed the last video I made, you can find it here. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel up here and check out the video that YouTube thinks you might like up there. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.